what's up guys all right here we are again <laughs> it's a vicious cycle feels like every day but it's okay i'm feeling better and, and it's making differences in my health i can tell that i'm kind of getting back to what um uh, what i was you know as far as this uh not necessarily as much in strength but certainly as much in just overall uh well-being and feeling good but um <clears throat> i want to kind of address something that i've kind of been running into a lot lately um and I want to kind of do a um, a quick video to kind of address. Just it's not really a big issue, but it's something that I'd, I'd, I'd rather make known again. <clears throat> um, yes, I am a captain at a police department in Ohio. Yes, I support law enforcement. I get asked all the time, "Well, what about this? And what about that?" Well, how can you justify this or justify that? I want let me let me just clear the air, and make it real easy for you. If a police officer is wrong, I don't support him. Period. The thin blue line is one thing. That's not my lifestyle. My lifestyle is red, white, and blue. That's honest. Ask any of my men. If you're wrong, you're wrong. If you come into this job with the wrong intentions, I don't support you. If you don't uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States and the liberties that thereof, I don't support you. Period. I've noticed a lot of people coming out of the woodwork since I started this YouTube saying, oh, you did something bad to me or you did some, but nobody can ever produce anything. It's just all, okay, well, have you filed a complaint? And it just stops. So <clears throat> what I'm getting at is this. I said before in the beginning of this, this is my private channel. This has nothing to do with my job. I'm not going to address a bunch of, of, of law enforcement questions overall and on this channel, specifically over, over my job or business with the Ironton Police Department. Um, now as far as overall opinions on situations, I want to keep in mind, I, whether it be a civilian or a law enforcement or anybody else, <clears throat> I never draw assumptions based on at least what I think is the majority of the facts. You're not going to get me to comment on something based on one video that surfaced from halfway around the country that I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying I support that officer or those officers. I'm not saying I support that person or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I would be unfair at what I do <clears throat> if I were to tell you, oh, well, they're wrong. Or, oh, yeah, that was justified. I don't, I don't know. So I'm asking... Please understand that if I don't answer your questions, it's not because I'm taking your side or taking their side or taking whose side. It's that I don't know what the sides are. And it wouldn't be fair for me as a law enforcement professional to draw those assumptions because I certainly don't do it on the street. So me drawing assumptions over a video that I saw or somebody asked me, well, what do you think about this or this shooting or whatever? Well, are you asking me to to answer what evidence you're giving me? Or are you asking me if I know the entire situation? Because I'll be honest with you, I don't like to keep up with a lot of police stuff off duty. I don't, when I'm home, I, I, I don't really live my life around this. I live my life around the things that I like to do. Family, doing the stuff that I enjoy, not what I do for a living. So you're not gonna get me to, to draw um, assumptions or or say one way or the other without knowing all the facts and there's no way I'll ever know all the facts without being there as an investigator other than what the courts decide so the only thing I can tell you is let the investigations play out and whatever the courts decide that's that's the only business I have if they're wrong if they're found guilty I don't agree with them if they're found innocent exonerated then I have no reason to doubt that. <clears throat> I'm not saying there's not corruption throughout the country. I, I I don't really know to what to what extent. I'm sure there is because obviously there's always going to be you know bad apples. But I can tell you in my experience, I don't believe for one minute that the average everyday police officer goes to work with bad intentions. I don't. In my 15 years, I've never witnessed it. That's God's honest truth. I have no reason to lie about that because I'm probably the most bold person ever to tell you what I really think about something. And I've told my men before, 
I don't agree with what you've done. Don't do that again. And it may not be something real significant, but I don't agree with it. I'll let them know. I don't want to address things on my YouTube about current events or whatever in law enforcement around the country or around the world or whatever. I, that's, I don't know. Without knowing the facts, I'm not going to speculate. I would be a really crappy investigator if I did, wouldn't I? Can you imagine if you were to have that kind of response from police on the road and they draw super quick conclusions like that? Oh my gosh, we'd be called tyrants, wouldn't we? Uh-oh. Kind of kill some arguments. Any law enforcement questions that you have for me, you can, <clears throat> you can address me in my official capacity. Um, I work Monday through Friday, 2 to 10. I don't get into anything that's not Ironton Police related, so please don't contact me with that silly stuff. If it's something about my men or my office, I will do my part to answer your questions. That's the best that I can do. I'm focused on something. This charity fight is not about my job. It's about a loudmouth that wanted to beat me up in a cage, and I accepted it. <clears throat> so I'm training for that. As me, as Chad, as Legicator, whatever you want to say, that's what I'm training for it as. This channel is nothing about my job. My firearms instructing that I've done, <clears throat> and I haven't done it for a while now because, honestly, after last year's illness, I didn't really do much for a while, but um, that wasn't, that had no affiliation with my job. That's something I've done as a private venture to teach um Defensive firearms tactics, um, Pro 2A type stuff. That's where Legicator came from. Um, I'd done that on my own time. It had nothing to do with my job. So, once again, I will not address police questions or draw assumptions or conclusions on partial evidence that I'm not familiar with. This channel is about me personally, my personal ventures, fitness, well-being, <clears throat> overall beliefs, and 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 um, family. Uh, outdoor type stuff, whatever. That's what I'm probably going to be uh, related to more. I don't care to do police breakdowns on stuff, but I won't draw conclusions on them. It's not going to happen. I want everybody to stay focused today. Stay positive. Stay happy. Remember, every day is a good day. We just have to make the decisions. Train like you fight. Fight like you train.